Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much for coming to our monthly webinar series, uh, the, uh, the Journal of Cardiovascular Aging Seminar Series. And uh, I'll tell you briefly about the journal, and Dr. Yibin Wong will introduce our distinguished speaker, Dr. David Cass. I have uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Tagmeyer and uh, Gabrielle uh, Schiatorella as our uh, panelists for today. So uh, the journal we started uh, a, a little less than uh, two years ago is a peer-reviewed open access journal. And uh, we are getting listed gradually on all major uh, citation indices. Uh, we will be going to PubMed and PMC this month. And uh, so far, we don't charge anyone for the publication fee because uh, we're still in the developmental phase of the journal. Uh, we publish all kinds of articles and we really define cardiovascular aging very, very broadly, no really specific, uh, uh, the typical geriatric issues. I mean, uh, aging starts since the birth of a single cell. So you imagine uh, uh, the scope of it. We have a distinguished group of panelists on our editorial board and editors. And uh, we're very, very proud of all of them for their contributions to the journal. We have, uh, as of last week, uh, we have uh, started our third issue, uh, third volume, uh, the first issue. We have uh, getting enough citations and getting enough tractions that we expect this journal to be uh, ultimately make it as a prominent cardiovascular uh, journal. We have overall uh, about 50 articles published in PubMed and we're getting interesting uh, 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 feedback about uh, interest in our journals. This is our fourth webinar series by Dr. David Cass. We had three more before. Uh, webinars are recorded and after recording, some of them get quite enough uh, interest and attention, including some have been, have been apparently viewed by over 20,000 people. So that's, uh, this is of course, after we post them online. So it's very attractive venue to uh, discuss uh, cardiovascular sciences. Dr. Yibin Wang, who was at UCLA, was the director of a, uh, uh, a cardiovascular uh, theme program at UCLA for years, now is the uh, professor and director of uh, uh, cardiometabolic syndrome in uh, uh, Duke uh, uh, National uh, University of Singapore. Uh, I will uh, make the introductory comment about our speaker, uh, who is uh, eminent physician scientist, uh, and this speaker, by the way, this uh, lecture has been named one of his, uh, Dr. Cass's mentor, uh, Kiji Sagawa, who was hemodynamic uh, engineer, bioengineering expert in uh, cardiac mechanic. So Yibin, you take over and introduce Dr. David Cass for the seminar. Thank you so very much, I really, uh, uh, appreciate and, 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 such a great honor and privilege for me to um, today introduce Dr. David Cass uh, as the speaker of uh, the Journal of uh, Cardiovascular Aging webinar series. Um, Professor Cass actually does not need any introduction to this audience. Um, he is as uh, defined, you know, uh, what. Described here, eminent physician scientist in our field. Um, he obtained his uh, bachelor degree from Harvard, followed by his MD training at Yale uh, Medical uh, School of Medicine. Um, I, I, I actually know him for many, many years and who really had a tremendous impact on my career and on my science. And not only because it's the, the breadth of his knowledge in cardiovascular medicine and uh, research, uh, uh, truly uh, his generosity of sharing that, and also uh, his incredible innovation uh, in both medicine and science. So you can see that his expertise really expands from bioengineering to molecular biology to genetics. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna tell you a bit more about omics, uh, quite a bit actually today. And he's really uh, standing at the uh, the cutting edge of our field 
uh, really have no fear of uh, 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 bending the, the, the definitions or paradigms uh, and identify really the, the novel insights uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, he received many, many uh, uh, honors among them, uh, the Distinguished Scientist Award from American Heart Association and uh, Louis Arthur uh, Lucing Prize in Cardiovascular Disease, the Peter Harris Distinguished Scientist Award and the Innovator Award from uh, ISHR and the Basic Science Achievement from American Heart Association, as well as the uh, 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 outstanding uh, uh, science award from NIH. Um, it, it'll take me many minutes actually to lay out all his awards, but I think we all want to hear his um, uh, uh, presentation today. Uh, it, it's no better person than Dr. David Katz to redefine HAPF uh, from the ground up. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Katz. <laughs> 